Hello everyone, my name is Ozirozos and welcome back to the Unoriginal Craft server. In this episode, like I said last time, we're going to be continuing on with our uh, topic question talking about thingy and carrying on with skating still. So yes, let's just jump right in here with the first question. Um. Which countries have I traveled to? I've never left the United States. Uh, so I guess for this I'll talk about other states I've been to and where I would like to go. Hot bar. Uh, anyway, so the countries I would like to go to. I would like to go to Canada one day. Even though I don't really know of anything significant to go to to see in Canada. Other than maybe to just go look at it. Just to say I've been to Canada. Uh, I think if I ever move to any other any other country, I would probably move to Canada. But I don't really know. I don't know. I, I've come to the typical conclusion: if World War Three ever starts, I'm gonna move to Canada. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have a legitimate reason why. But like, if like Russia or somewhere like that bombs the United States, I'm getting the heck out of here. Screw the U.S. I'm sorry. Uh, if that happens, have a good day. I hope you, I hope you live well. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I, I would like to go to Canada one day for no apparent reason. I, could, I just think Canada is kind of a cool place, besides Justin Bieber. Uh, <laughs> I would also like to go to England one day. I get, you know, just, really just, just go look at it. I want, I want to go to London one day. It just seems like a cool place to just go to and see. And I'm all out of wood. Ah, well, I'm all out of wood. <laughs> um, okay, let's go get some wood then. So let me just dig up from here. It's probably a dead end down there anyway, but... So yes, I would like to, like to go to England one day to go and see London. I think it would be a good time. I don't know who the heck I would go with though. Maybe if I ever got a girlfriend in my freaking life, I can take her with me or something. Uh... Hmm, where else would I like to go? I think if I ever learn Japanese, I would go to Japan. Oh god, my voice cracked. I would go to Japan. But, if I don't learn Japanese, I think it would just be a pain in the butt to go. Because I couldn't even do anything. Because I don't know how to speak anything. Or, or bring someone that does know Japanese along with me. But, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And, uh, hmm, what's somewhere else? Oh, my inventory's full. I keep on forgetting about that. Uh, you. Uh, so yes, Canada, England, Japan, if I ever learn Japanese. And, let me see. Hmm, or somewhere else I wanted to go. I don't really know. Like, I'm pretty happy here, but I don't think I would go anywhere else that has, that speaks a different language other than English. Unless I learned that language. So, I don't know. I don't really know. So, I guess that's it for that question. Oh, I guess we'll talk about the other states I've been to the, the United States instead of countries then. Um, I've been to... Tennessee to go up to the mountains for vacation. I hated it. Um, it was rainy there, and the mountain was just really muddy all the time. It was just horrible. And what's this? There's anything to, to do there? Like I don't, like I don't live. Uh, even though I live in South Carolina, well, it's like the home of rednecks. <laughs> Basically, if you want to see a redneck, go to freaking South Carolina. Um, so I don't live a southern lifestyle at all. Really, the only thing southern at all about me is just where I live. And my accent's a little bit, like I don't have much of a southern accent. But, you know, if you compare me to someone that lives in, like, say, New York City, you could tell which one lives in the south. But mine isn't very easy to tell. I, I don't know. I, could, I don't even say the word y'all. 
because personally I think it sounds weird, <laughs> but once again, that's just me. Why did I make all this chicken wood? Uh, go screw your mother. You, you do. Why do I make all this stuff too? Dang it! <laughs> um, guys, having full ammo always sucks. Okay, you just go away. I don't need two of those. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. I've passed through other states that like get to Tennessee, like North Carolina, but I didn't do anything there, so can't really tell any stories about that. Dang it, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. So we're, I'll get over to the next question here. Let me just craft, craft this call into blocks so I can have some more inventory space. I'm so glad they added this to the game. I say this like every time I craft these in a video, but still, this is so helpful. There, it's cleaned, cleaned up like 50 billion inventory slots. I mean, really, would you just look at this? So, next question Who is my, my favorite actor slash actress? I actually don't know. I don't, well, I don't pay attention to who's in movies and TV shows. Uh. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. What is my least favorite subject in school? In all honesty, I hate all of them to death. Uh, because I won't use any of it in real life. At least for my job, because I want to be a software engineer. And I've already learned the math that I will use, so... Really, school for me right now is just 100% pointless, but I still have to go anyway. Because stupid laws. But, I guess if I had to choose your least favorite, oh, hello, it would be math. I hate math. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Math just sucks. I hate it. So many steps and just, ugh. I like, used to be alright, but once you get into algebra, it just sucks. It just becomes a chore. I don't see how people can like math. Like, I honestly see nothing enjoyable about it. It's just a pain in the butt. And I guess it's more on the topic, and I'm probably almost out of the random topic generator things. I'm getting a lot of repeats. Um, I guess I'm talking about my favorite subject, which I guess I don't really like this either because I hate every subject, like I said. But if I had to choose, like absolutely had to, I would say probably history is my favorite subject. It's because I enjoy reading about it, but. Uh, dang it, um, I don't like this record, can go away. Cat's alright. Did I not pick it up? What the heck did I pick up then? Did I pick up cobble? There. Uh, so yeah. I used to love science, but once you get into high school, science just becomes another math class. I said that really weird. Uh. I still do labs and whatnot, but once I get, you know, uh, physics, it's just another math class. That's all math science becomes. So, spoiler alert. If you're a young kid that likes science, I'm sorry, but it starts to suck. At least in my opinion. Uh, next one. If I can choose my last meal, what would it be? Uh, probably, like I said last episode, my favorite food is tacos. So I guess I would choose tacos. Just, tacos, I guess. Tacos are great. I would choose them for my last, last meal. Uh, yeah, that was, that was easy. I love summer questions like this. What did I do last, last weekend? Last weekend, I... Played games. What's up, so and these mods? It hasn't been five minutes for real. Holy crap. I did that like forever ago. I played games and recorded stuff. That's what I do every weekend. Because I am popular. I really guess because I have nothing else to do. Like I don't exact I'm don't exactly like no people <laughs> to go and do stuff with, so yeah. So there's that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm exciting, aren't I? Would you be willing to reduce the lifespan by ten years to become rich or famous? 
Chris also had this question, and I'm gonna have the same answer as his. It just depends on how long my lifespan is gonna be. Like, if once again, it's like exactly what he said, but I say I lived to be you no know, 40 or 30, then no. But if I lived to be you no know, 90 or, or 100, then yes. Because just like Chris said in his video, the, like the difference between living to be 80 or 90 really isn't that big of a difference but the difference between living you know 30 years versus 40 years is a big difference because you know you're still kind of sort of in like you can still do stuff but once you get into like 80s and 90s you can't really do anything but sit at home and watch like TV and stuff so I mean wouldn't be that exciting so yeah, I would do that if I, if I could live to be, you know, like 100 or 90. But if I were to live to be, you know, 40 or 30, then no. So, yes, there's that. I'm actually going to look at my freaking cords for my thing. So, let me just see here. There, there we go. Uh, so, 119, negative 1400. So, negative. So, 120. Negative 14. Uh, okay, that's this way. Alright, so let's go on with the next question here. Okay, do I play any sports? I used to, so I'll get to that. But no, I don't anymore. Because like I've said like 50 billion times, it feels like my god. Um, I don't like sports anymore. Once again, you'll disagree. I, I almost guarantee it. Uh, but I think they're pointless. I don't see you pointing them anymore. They're just competitive, and in my in my opinion, very boring. But once again, it's my opinion. Okay, I passed my thing for the, this direction at least. And I have played sports in my, in my life though. Um, when I was a kid, I used to play baseball a lot. Uh, baseball used to be my favorite sport. I played it for a long time actually. I, I at one point I was pretty good. But then, then I turned to crap. Like I think, like the last season I played baseball, I only hit the ball one time, and that was a foul ball. So, yeah. So I qu I quit it because number one I was getting horrible at it, and number two, it was just getting repetitive to me, and. I don't really like sports for this reason as well, it's because, I mean, if you screw up, I mean, like your coach and your other players, they just go off on you like a freaking drill sergeant. I mean, like, my god, I'm not in the freaking army. I just want to play a game of baseball or something. I don't need you telling me whatever I did wrong every freaking time I do it. My god. I'm not trying to be uh, like a disrespectful douchebag, but jeez, I don't give a crap. I just want to have fun. Yeah, that's another reason I quit because people buttholes. I know it's their job, but still, you suck. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, look, light. So, next thing. I don't have had a job. If I was stuck on a desert island, what would I want to have with me? Well, I'm assuming you can't get cell signal, so a cell phone would be kind of pointless. Um, I get ball. <laughs> uh! I'm butt monkey. Um, so I guess I would bring like uh, like a backpack full of like I don't know if I could bring like a backpack full of random things or not, but if it's like one thing filled with random stuff then I would bring like a backpack filled with like survivalist equipment like like basic food and maybe like a knife or something but if I can have if I can only have one thing then I guess like some big weapon like a machete or something maybe or like a book like a survival guide to like to like t t teach me how to like make traps or like how to like get water from crap or not not, 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 not like literal crap but like get water from like a, a cactus or something because I know you can but I don't really know how so uh, yeah yeah there's that 
Next one, if I can find another one. What do I miss most about being a kid? I know I'm still 16, so technically I'm not an adult yet, but like, consider me to be one, because I'm not annoying like kids. Uh, like, I have, you know, respect for people, which is like unheard of. Holy crap. I guess I, I miss. Hmm. I guess one thing I miss most about being a kid is like at school. Man, that was full. I'm gonna clean up my inventory, I guess, by finishing up this episode. Like, have you noticed a lot of back in elementary school? Like, everyone was so nice. Like, all the kids were just great. Uh, they were happy to be there. Uh, they enjoyed going to school. At least for the most part. At least I did in the elementary school. Um. And, but, I mean, nowadays, like, in, like, high school people, are they are the biggest buttholes, like, ever. Holy crap. Like, people are just mean. <laughs> so, I guess I'll just miss people being nice. Like, my gosh. People aren't nice anymore. What does this world come to? Ah, so, yeah, there's that. Let me see if I can find another one. What is my morning routine? Uh, I guess I'm assuming it's talking about like a normal school day, because during the like weekends I sleep in every uh, past morning. So uh, yeah, for a school day, oh, I wake up at six thirty, I believe. Yeah, yeah, six thirty. And so I wake up six thirty. My gosh, I can't get a word out of my mouth. And I grab some clothes and go to the bathroom to take a shower. And so, so, so I take a shower. I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating it's way too hard on this. <laughs> I'm putting my stuff up. Where does this go? I don't even know. I guess in here. Anyway, I take a shower. Then I brush my hair. Then I brush my teeth. And you know, put on deodorant. Blah blah blah. That you know, you know. And let me see. I guess that's it. I don't really do anything special. I don't. I don't eat breakfast. I should, but I just don't really like very much breakfast things. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's that. And simple. Uh, it's stereotypical stuff, you know. And there we go. Caving done! We didn't find any diamonds, really. We didn't even get down. The, the lowest we got was gold level. But hey, we got a diamond from Mr. Green Hippo for my birthday present, uh, like three episodes ago. So that's, that, that's cool. Whew, that was a mouthful the last, these last two minutes. Uh, so yes, I'm gonna end this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed this, you know, you know, like Q&A, caving type of thing. If you want to see more episodes like this, please just leave a like and comment or whatever. And so yes, if you enjoyed this episode and everything else, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye, and have a great day.